I guess it's worse than that. Whatever he gets... Alternatively, anything that can... Whoa! No! 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 Please! No! There is shining meat! Wait, wait, it's, it's coming back around. Shiny meat? What game is this? Baby, what? You, you want no game this? No game this. You're here. Let's get right into this game, man. Today what we're playing is it's a different game on my channel, but I'm telling you, I love not this game specifically. Oh! But this, this is a fan game, okay? So the game is called Danganronpa, and it is a game and an anime, and it is it's it's beautiful, okay? I, it's all it's fire, okay? And this is called Danganronpa Dead End. That's what we're gonna be playing today. Basically, the premise is hear me out. Hear me out, dude. 16 students that are really good at what they do, they're ultimate something. Like I'll be the ultimate YouTuber because I'm I'm fire. You know what I mean? Subscribe. So like 16 ultimate students will get trapped inside of a classroom or some type of place and uh, they'll be forced to kill each other. Boy ain't no way, boy. Boy ain't no way, boy. Boy ain't no way, boy. If somebody dies, then a class trial is held and then if the person that did the murdering is caught, then they die. But if the person that did the murdering doesn't get caught, they're able to leave that scenario and go back to living their normal lives. I'm talking a lot because um, it's a really good series and I, I don't want this to taint any type of reputation it has. I also want it to be so good that I want more, so. What do you mean by that? Pause maybe? I don't know. Well, stop stalling let's just wait. Uh-huh, 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 get this game in. Y'all wanna Photoshop a video? You could do that too. I see guns. They about to fire. Huh. People is dying. They is retired. <gasps> I'm talking about pads. Huh. A blast from the pads. Yeah, with a trigger. Huh. I got a gun, so I'm shooting it over my finger. <laughs> Usually you, you understand the, the characters and stuff like that, but since this is a demo, I don't know if I said this, this is a demo. I'm probably, probably not gonna know every single character as much as you would in an actual game, but you know, that happens. Change difficulty? You know what? I'm feeling mean today. I'm feeling mean today. You know what I'm saying? Oh, ah, okay. Huh. Yeah, we about to fight for our lives, huh? Mm. Yeah, we're gonna hope to survive, huh? Mm. Yeah, we gonna pull up with the fire and we gonna hope to survive, huh? Mm. Yeah, because we in the class trial. We killing people, yeah, it's kind of vile. It's kind of gory. I don't know, kind of like Dory. Slash that like button. Call me just Corey. Kenshin. If you want to talk, then get out of my mention. Gaming like I'm Tyler Blevins. Class trial. In session. We in session. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial, like I did for you guys, but no suit. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for the killer and vote for the who done it. If you vote correct correctly, only the black end will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everybody besides the black end. And that person will earn the right to leave the academy. Now, let's begin. But no one's dead. How are we supposed to s discuss? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, we just got here. Okay, at least we're gonna put in the situation. Oh, how silly of me. I forgot that this trial was a special pre-trial trial version. This is the fourth world breaking, bro. Pre-trial trial version? Well, the lovely creators of this here game wanted to show off what they could do. So before any official content comes out, we're having a completely non-canon class trial. So that means we won't die if we get it wrong. <laughs> oh no, I'll still kill you. I swear. <laughs> but, but, but what happened in the full game if we die? Well, in that case, we just won't have a game. Boo hoo. Oh well. Hey, there was a lot of work put into this. You can't just chuck it out just because we screwed up. In that case, you better get it right. What will we be discussing? With our limited time to survey our new surroundings, it will be difficult to come with a decisive conclusion on any topic. Not to mention some of us look like we've never used our brains before. <laughs> hey, I'm smarter than I look. Oh, really? <laughs> What's- 5,253,000 Divided by- 476 uh, 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 How is anybody supposed to know that? <laughs> yeah, I doubt you even know the answer. <laughs> If you don't know the game, it will make sense to you, but I know the game, so it's like, that's kind of fire. Okay, I, I see what you do there. <laughs> well, the joke's on you. I'm too dumb to know if that's right. <laughs> Case in point. Ah, uh, no, wait. Are you stupid? <laughs> you really shouldn't pick on girls, little bro. They'll never be into you if you keep unsettling them like that. Charm is a great way to bring your point across in the debate, too. Isn't that right, baby? <laughs> You're hot. I mean... 
all stop bickering, we can ask about the discussion topic. Besides, I don't see why we should write the situation off as impossible if we don't know everything about it. She, she does have a point. We should look at the whole picture before we decide. In that case, if Mr. Monosuck would be so inclined to tell us what we would be talking about. Oh, you want to know so badly. Well, I guess there's no point in keeping you in suspense. The topic of the discussion will be my sexual orientation. You're gay! You're, he's gay! Uh, yes. A refined topic for the most poised of gentlemen. <laughs> uh, heck no. What on earth about a topic is that refined? Why would I want to know what a crazy robot gets off to? Well, it's not like we have a choice. No matter how undignified the topic, our lives are on the line. Well, if I had to choose, discussing this is a lot easier than a corpse. <laughs> chee chee. Fry agrees with creepy shovel girl. Oh, uh, those are her words. Not mine. Stop the cap. <laughs> It's fine. I've been called worse. Worse than creepy shovel girl? Goodness. This group gets sidetracked easily. But, but, but where do we begin? I guess we just jump into it. Starting with probably help us find more clues. I agree with Sherry. Discussing something actually brings... Dis, dis, I'm feeling like dashy out here. Discussing something actually brings up a lot of things you overlook. In a detective novel, it's pretty common that a mundane discussion helps lead the detective to the last piece of evidence. In that case, where should we start, Jane? How about everybody talks over their interactions with Monosock? That might reveal something. If you think it will help, I suppose it's a great place to start. But most conversations with a robot are the result of simple questions. I don't see the point in reviewing these examinations. Ex explanations. You got a better idea, Bedhead? I do not. Alright, the first debate is about to start. I doubt Monosock will Oh, so she's the main character of it. I doubt Monosock will give us an impossible question, so the answer is here somewhere. We just gotta keep calm and think this through. Good news for controller users like you. Gamepad controllers are, ex are exactly the same as the mainline. <laughs> I didn't play the actual game, so I don't know. So you're just gonna be like, oh yeah, it's the same as the other game. You guys definitely played the other game before, so don't worry. We should start with the in intimate actions we've had with Mo Monosock. Oh! Intimate, you say? I'm really curious about what you think is intimate, Miss Moss. Actually, let's just start with one-on-one -on -one interactions instead. If I can help it, I tried my best doing it. We never be alone with them. I don't know his. I don't know their accounts. Hold up, I don't know their accounts. I literally don't know their accounts. I was alone with them for a bit, but he didn't seem that interested. Figures you are alone together. Maybe we're just overthinking this. I mean, he's a robot. Maybe he's just isn't attracted to anybody? To be fair, that's a very logical argument. Wow, maybe there is a brain in that thick skull of yours. Told you I was smart. Okay, this is difficult because I literally have no idea I can figure this out. The evidence to refute them is all I need. I, I literally have no idea what they said. Okay, so I, I don't I don't know. I, I literally don't know. This is difficult when you have no type context clues for this at all. Okay. I know stupid. My logic is irritated. There's no way I'm wrong. I, just, I don't, do I have to, do I have to, Pick up the X. There we go. Jesus Christ. Nate had a weird run-in with Monosock recently. Apparently, he tried hitting on Nate for some reason. Nate was able to shake it off, but it scarred him pretty bad. Now he tries to be with me whenever he can, so Monosock doesn't try anything. Apparently, Ryu has been alone with Monosock on multiple occasions despite being told that it's dangerous. However, Monosock always appear, disappears as quickly as possible. Ryu says this ticked him off because he seems very friendly with the other male students. A picture of Monosock that Nate found stuffed in a plant. It shows Monosock on some type of bed wearing a silk rope, robe. You could say he's trying to look sexy, but he's a plush robot, so it looks stupid and weird. I wonder who put it in his plant. What am I, what am I, this is not making the, this isn't how the, sure, sure, that, that yeah, yeah, cause, cause, yeah, break, yeah, let go, I knew that one. Hold on, Booker, he may be a robot, but we have the evidence that claims that he's attracted to people. No way, how could a robot, how could a robot have a sex drive? The reason we have a sex drive in the first place is to make babies. One of my plan- Robot don't make babies, that's true. Of course some people shouldn't make either. It would be nice if they let, left the gene pool. You really are a despicable cretin. Perhaps people will like you if you aren't always looking down on them. Pretty hard to look up to <laughs> you, shorty. Perhaps if you get off your giant ego, it'd be easier. Oh, as much as I love listening to a 10 year old get roasted. Could we get to the explanation? Nate was unfortunate enough to get hit on by Wanasog. That is true. Okay, I get it now, yeah. What, really? I was doing my best to forget. I don't want to remember any of it. Yeah, he spent the rest of the day crying to me about it. I didn't cry about it. No. 
but I still had to pat your back saying they're there. I told you not to talk about our back rub times in public, <laughs> especially with me, and you know that. And he's like, hey, this is some special back rub times. You telling people, hey, this is our thing, come on. Jeez, man, okay, sorry, I honestly thought that was a joke. So that thing really was hitting on you. On a scale of one to 10, how aroused would you say his flattery made you? Maybe I can ask him for pointers. What, who are you? Dude, just ask me for flirting tips. A one, definitely a one. He made vague innuendos and tried wrapping his weird arms around my leg. I had to shake him off at one point. That sounds less like hitting on you, more like sexual har harassment. Sexual harassment is in violation of the school's security policy. I'll have to ask you to leave. Honey, please, I run the school now. So obviously I rewrote that. Now I can wrap my arms around anyone I like. Bro, I, okay. Note to self, long tube arms are good at wrapping our legs. Dude, please, just talk to me. Please, we're all begging you, just <laughs> talk to him. But that means he does have a sex drive. So I guess I was wrong, huh? I still find this illogical. What is the point of coding a robot with the desire for intercourse? Cause sex is super hot, that's why. It's actually why I became a teacher at this university so that one day those sexiest teacher ex student desires could finally be fulfilled. Another viola violation of security policy. <sighs> I'm just, I'm baffled, bro. What about student teacher relationships are strictly forbidden? Rewrote it. Wow. Dang, he's good. The fact you went through all that trouble is even more proof. Good point. If you really didn't have any desires, why rewrite all that stuff? It sure isn't for our benefit. I think the more important question is why is the security policy still in effect during a killing game? School security is very important, you know? How else am I supposed to keep all those pesky outsiders away? That's not at all what I meant. If mom was here, she would have given you a timeout for sure. Dang, got him with that one. Timeout, gotta go. In the corner, you can go, I'll wait. What good would that do? I don't know, Tanya. Maybe something better than a security policy you love so much. All right, we figured it out. He's into dudes. Can we stop talking about this now? It's just getting creepier by the second. No, we should keep talking. There are other possibilities to this case. Th that's right. We haven't discussed anything besides what happened to Nate. We keep getting sidetracked. Ugh, but this discussion is stupid and boring and I hate it. Can't we just move on? W well, I guess we did discuss it. Not to mention nothing else was brought up. Maybe we should stop discussing it. Like I said, we need to think through this if we want to get the answer correct. Uh, actually, he does have a point. We'll die if we get it wrong. Lizzie, shouldn't you be thinking for yourself? Sorry, but both arguments are just so compelling. You're the only one to make any points, though. All right, just breathe and take a moment to think to yourself. That way, you know what to do. <sighs> okay, personally, I also want to discuss some more. This is a life or death decision. We don't want to rush into it. I I'll just go along with you, Athena. Oh, Lizzie. I agree with Athena and Nate. Flirting is a complex art that has a lot of layers to it. You can't you can't figure something out through one conversation, especially if it was one as one-sided as Nate says. Come on, Nadie Poo. You can't say you aren't into it at all. Yes, I can. I most certainly can. Not even a little. Not for one second. Fine, whatever, let's just make it quick so we can get this over with. So, Miss Detective, what should we discuss now? Actually, I'm not the detective, but we should keep discussing everyone's interactions with them since we've only heard about Nate and Reese. That's our best bet for now. I actually, I just want to talk about my interaction for a while. No one else's. What the? Are you trying to torture us? You already said nothing happened when you talked to them. Exactly. That's why we should discuss it more. You really do have a few screws loose, don't you? I would argue that it is a little more than a few. Well, whatever, I won't allow the discussion to move forward unless we talk about what happened. D do you really want to make me cry? <laughs> Actually, that would be very entertaining to see. Shut up, you blind excuse for a smear artist. Dang. Ugh. It seems like we don't have a choice but to go along with whatever Ryu says has planned. I hope he's being smart about this. Otherwise, we're going to be dead before we know it. All right. What do you have to say, my guy? Non-stop debate. Yay. We're going to talk about me. But why, though? You've already said nothing happened when you were alone. But doesn't that contradict what we already know? So he's a boy and he likes boys. So it's weird. How can nothing be a contradiction? Now that I think about it, it's suspicious that nothing happened between you. Maybe something happened and you're just scared to tell us about it? Dang! Put him on the bus like that. A guilty conscience? Why on earth would I have one of those? All I've done is bring up something you idiots missed. Now prove your worth and figure out for yourselves. I get it because he said he's a male. He likes guys, apparently. And he didn't go after him. Okay, no, so we're gonna say, we're gonna say the weird picture, yeah, I get the weird picture. So we're gonna say Ryu's account. We're gonna say Ryu's account because... I agree with that. Consent. Love to see it. Something Monosoc does not know. Nothing happened between you. Ah, that's it. Uh, what is it? The fact that nothing happened is strange in and of itself. Because we already established that he's into guys. Whoa, you're right. How did we miss that? I've been asking myself that question for the last five minutes or so. We probably ignored it because of his age. You mean since he's a twerk, we didn't listen to him. No. 
Well, yeah, but that's not. But there's a big age gap between Ryu and Nate, so we didn't think about it, especially since he's a minor. I didn't know that Ryu was the ultimate minor. <laughs> she means someone who's under 18. Now I'm starting to side with Ryu and how stupid you are. But what does that mean? Does that mean he has a thing for tall guys? Uh, actually, I think Avery already gave us the answer. The reason he didn't try anything with Ryu is because he's a minor. Jeez, finally you took long enough to figure it out. It was that annoying. Why didn't you just tell us yourself? Little bro. Because people don't like listening to me because of my age. So I found creative ways around it. Come on, bro. We would have listened. No, we wouldn't have. Or at least I wouldn't. Cheat, cheat. Yeah, if I wouldn't listen to, I wouldn't have either. Dang, you get it on him. Same. Chill. Ditto. Like, she shows up on my. What did he do to you? <laughs> okay, maybe that was the best approach. Thanks for the support, mommy. Mommy, whoa, I'm still not your mom, but you're welcome. So we narrowed down our answers. The guys who are at least 18 years of age. Of course I only go after age, man. Like, you take me for a monster? Like, I may be an expert at sexual assault by survey. So you admit to it being sexual assault. What? I said flirting. What are you talking about, Sally? <laughs> Don't play dumb. You just said sexual assault. No, it was harmless flirting. Oh, you're impossible. Is that it? Can we go now? Well, if that's your answer, just formally present it to me. But before we do that, can we discuss this a little bit little bit more? Why? It seems pretty set in stone for me. Although, uh, it feels like we still might be missing something. Uh, come on, I just want to leave this place. It doesn't give anyone else the creeps. Well, with a fresh coat of paint, I'm sure we can liven this place up. What? Hey, no vandalizing on my beautiful interior design. It's not vandalism, it's just brightening up the place. And I'm sure it would feel better once I got rid of all the ghosts. Okay, and no removing my ghosts either. It was very expensive to buy them on a one day delivery. You buying ghosts now? Okay, why is Cherry so freaked out? None of the others have come out and said anything about being hit on. Although she was the one who brought up the idea of one-on-ones with Monosoft. Don't tell me she had some type of conflict with them, but why isn't she saying anything? <laughs> <laughs> it's because of that creep, isn't it? Of course it is. So she wants to say something happened to her, but that clown is getting in the way. In that case, Monosoc just isn't in the guys. It's also in the... You know what this means? It's time for Hangman's Gambit. Okay. Okay, I don't know if you guys know. You probably don't. But Hangman's Gambit is just like a, you know, like, Hangman, basically. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hey. Into... Into what? What are they... What is... That's not, that's not gonna, like, hurt me anymore, is it? Okay. Dang! Into what? She was into what? Dang! Okay! I need, I need to start shooting. I need to start shooting. And? Nope, that was wrong. Okay, I was wrong. Wow, I... What is the... <laughs> what is happening? Yo! <laughs> Bro, I'm dying! Oh, I have it on me, and that's why. I have it on me difficulty, that's why. I was like, I'm tough. I'm not tough. No, I'm tough. I'm tough. I'm tough. I'm tough. Okay, here we go. So, oh, this is the boss. This is the boss. So, it has to be G. Alright, okay. This, this is my last one. This is my last one. Ah, you guys are getting nowhere. I might just go ahead and kill all of you guys right here, right now. Am I really this bad at this? Yup. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This cannot be the end. Yeah, it isn't. It's because I just, I did bad. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. But now I understand what to do. I can, I need to slow down time. Can I slow down time as well? He's into guh. Guh. Dang, bruh. This is ridiculous. Okay. I didn't know I- This one. That's it, G. Go, get, 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 girls? So, is Nate a girl? Is that what I'm getting from this? Where's the S? Where's the S? I just need the S. I just need the S and I got this. Nope. Nope. S, 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 S. There we go. Girls. He's in the girls. I thought it was going to be some type of like convoluted type of met. Nope, but just girls. Boys and girls. So he's into girls as well. How do I present this to the group without getting Cherry involved? I have one idea for it to work. However, I need to trust Cherry to back me up. Oh, here goes nothing. Uh, guys, I have something to tell you. What's up, Jane? I think Monosock might be into girls. He was hitting on me, too. Ah! What? You never told me about this. That's because I had to console you. It would have been too weird to bring it up then. Well, I wouldn't have hauled all the bat packs if I knew you were in the same position. Once we get out of here, you can have all the bat packs you want. Thanks, uh -huh, but no, no, no thanks. That's the type of guy you are! <laughs> Chee -chee. I agree. It's weird you didn't bring us up sooner. Why did you, why did you wait so long? Because we were working something else at the time, so I thought I should wait. If you don't believe me, Cherry saw it happen. You can back me up, right, Cherry? Oh, oh, yes, I can. It completely slipped my mind. Oh, thank God. She actually, she's actually not had bad lying. So, Jane, you got hit on by Monosoc 2. How would you rate your experience on a scale of- Ask me that and your sketchbook is getting shoved so far up your you'll be art for weeks. Wow. Is that a promise? I take it back. I take it back. I don't remember hitting on you. 
Oh well, when you're as big a player as me, it kind of makes sense you forget some of the people you flirt with. Ouch! Burn, girl. So our answer now is anybody who's over 18 years old. Did we finally figure it out? I don't know what else it could be. We seem to have worked through the evidence, though, haven't we? Mmm. Looks like we figured this out pretty good. Didn't realize he swung both ways. Hmm. What is it, Nate? Well, there's something that's bugging me. Could I have missed something? That doesn't seem possible. But Nate does have good in instincts, even if he does have a hard time figuring stuff out. Guys, can we have one more discussion? I think we might have missed something. Okay, now you're just dragging it out. Molly, please. Nate and James have been a big help in figuring this out. It's true. You, you, you never really got the 18 plus without her, so we should discuss what she wants. What's the harm? What could we even do when we leave the trial? We're so stuck here, you know. All right, I get it. Shut up! So suspicious. I can't really remember, but if we start up discussion, it could jog our memory. Very well. Do you have a discussion topic in mind? Just discuss the answer we have so far. That should bring up something. In that case, we should get started. Even if Molly's nagging is quite irritable, I do wish to leave as well. Hey, if you're gonna agree with me, don't insult me. We got one more discussion to go through. If we miss anything, we're doomed. So let's make sure it doesn't happen. One more non-stop debate, I bet. The, the pictures? I'm guessing it has something to do with the pictures. Yeah, the weird pictures this time. What if we just switch to talk about our current answer? But honestly, I don't find anything wrong with it. I believe the answer itself is correct. The real question is if something was missed. But we need to talk about all the evidence. All the evidence, all the evidence, all the, all the evidence, all the evidence. Bop! Give me that weird picture. I didn't even need the rest. I'm too tough. Okay, let's go. Ah, got it! Nate, remember that weird photo you found stuffed in the plant? Uh, what about it? Let me see if it so we can show everybody. Almost looks like a pinup. Well, maybe a pinup. It just doesn't look good when you only have feet when you just have feet and no legs. The lack of butt is also very disappointing. I do agree with that one. I have to remedy this later. No, that's a good thing. That's definitely a good thing. But what's up with that picture? If he gave us if he gave it to one of us, wouldn't we have brought it up by now? Jane, would you mind if I saw that for a moment? Uh sure, go for it. Hmm. Ah, I see. What is it? Take a look at the bag. Hey, pretty baby, your foliage looks great this time of year. If you want, you can help me spread my seed. Oh, and it was stuck in a plant. <laughs> well, time to bleach that from my memory. Do you have any sense of decency? What is this <laughs> decency you speak of? Oh, uh, whatever, I need to stop talking to you. So we gave that picture to the plant. He's in the foliage, it seems so. Actually, that's not the only one I found. Oh, come on. They were basically everywhere. I went around and picked them up because I thought it was litter. You didn't think to read them. I already had enough of him for a lifetime. I didn't even bother. You know, Dude, totally get you now. Well, were they all in trees or plants? No, they were just about everything I could find. I guess that means he doesn't have standards. I guess it's worse than that. Whatever he can stick it in, he finds attractive. Alternatively, anything that can stick it in him. Whoa, no, 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 please, no. That's kind of a gross way to put it, but I guess it's true. Like, yeah, so that's it, we're done. I think so. Monosoft, we have our answer. Oh, then do tell, you know what I'm saying? You are attracted to anything that is at least 18 years of age, including inanimate objects. Hmm. Hmm. Why? That's uh, completely correct. Yeah, you clever sleuth you are. Thank goodness we won't die. Now everyone come closer and let your teacher reward you. No, I don't care if it's not a violation. I'm still gonna beat the tar out of you. Screw that, I'm leaving. We are in danger, so let's jet. Agree, we should just simply put as much distance between him and us as possible. If you have no objections, robot, please reactivate the elevator. Give me a second, will you? I gotta talk to the player for a second. Oh, talking to me. Thanks for playing our weird little test. Hope you join us for the real deal because next time, not everyone will have the pleasure of being here. Why the music cut out? I. I was enjoying the music, it just cut out, and now he's looking at me. Why you got a bandaid on your eye? Was that from like the punch of the um, cherry? You know what I'm saying? She had that nasty right hook, you know what I'm saying? Is that it? That, um, that, that was Danganronpa Dead End. I don't know what I played, and this is not how Danganronpa is not, it's like, it's not how it usually is. I, for anybody that's just first seeing this, um, I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm baffled right now, bro. I don't know why I just played. I, I don't know what I just played. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, that was dangling up at dead end. It's John Crazy Biscuit. <laughs> and I'm out. I, I don't know what I played. I literally don't know what I played. Out. Low key. I'm not a so just like me, bro. No why?